you know, so the fact that there is pressure on our transportation and infrastructure because of popula population growth, we should actually view that as a blessing because the alternative is much worse, <laughs> right? Much, much worse. Having a lot of empty, you know, you go to parts, I mean, I hate to use one of the great American cities as an example, but you go to parts of Detroit and you go on the highway at, at five at night and, and there's like no one on the road. And, you know, there's a problem with that too. Um, and so this in many ways is a blessing that we're dealing with here in, in Maryland. And we have our issues and we'll work through them because things are gonna change in our local economy here. The federal government's gonna become a much smaller component over time of our economy. We're gonna have to diversify it. And we're gonna have to think more about some of these solutions, uh, which, which is great. But we're hearing that there's, you know, from, even from this round table, that there's lots of, kind of meld all these things together. We have to have private capital, we need government capital, we need different modes of transportation, we need to stop having battles between, you know, public transportation and, and, and service transportation because <clears throat> very few, it's pretty obvious for a lot of people which one they should do, right? It's not like they're actually competing that much, if you think about it. Uh, and that's at least the way I think about it. If you, I mean, if you live near the metro in Bethesda and you work downtown, it's, you're really not thinking about that decision. You're taking the metro. But if you live 40 minutes from a metro, you're driving full stop. So 